Hi friends, welcome to Tech Tutorials in Telugu by Teja. In this channel, we are going to learn about Linux, Windows, VMware and cloud computing platforms. Please do support by subscribing. Now, let's get into today's topic. Hi friends, in this lab, let us see how to add a, okay, how to add a hard disk to the existing VM in the VMware workstation. And I'm like friends, like a uh, okay, VMware workstation la presenter. See, this is our VMware workstation. In this, uh, we had two VMs. One is client and one is the server, right? In server, when I go to the property settings, you can find only one hard disk over here. So this is C drive, for example, take it as a C drive. I want to add a, one, another one more hard disk, additional hard disk to this particular VM. How to add this? See, these are the steps actually. Uh, see, as a theory part, I have given these steps. Uh, we can follow each and step, but in practical, we can do directly. It's not a big deal actually. It's a small practical. See, first of all, whatever the VM you want to add the hard disk, right? You just right click on that particular VM, go to settings. Here you can see what how many hard disks are present right now. So there is only one hard disk. I want to add a, another hard disk, right? So I'm adding a new hard disk over here. In this, what we are adding, we, we need to choose hard disk over here. Click next. See what type of hard disk is, is this a SATA or NVMB? You can choose anything, right? As per your requirement, see IDE. Right now I'm just choosing SATA over here. Okay, click next. Create a new virtual hard disk click next what is the size of the vm like size of the hard disk you want to add it over here see uh, i can add 100 gb 60 gb 50 gb it might be anything right now i'm just adding 50 gb disk okay and one more important is you need to store the disk file in a uh, hard disk file into a single file see store virtual hard disk as a single file okay so that a file will be created in the location which we specify okay click next you can browse where this hard disk need to be stored you can store it anywhere like uh, right now i am going to store it uh, where the existing vm is running right uh, let us store in the same place here it is running right so i am going to store it over here only so our whatever the hard disk we are adding it is going to add over here got it click finish once you got finished right you click ok over here and uh, let us take the rdp of the server you can take the rdp or else you can directly log in using the console here there is a console view right if you log in with the console there will be some lag okay that's the reason i'm just taking rdp how to take rdp just go to run command and just type msdsc click ok so it will open the remote desktop connection here give the ip address of the server the server ip address is 192.168.1.10 click connect give the password see i can able to log into the server with rdp draw just check the um, file explorer let's see first of all how many hard disks are there we have there is a one hard disk earlier and right now we have added the other one right let us see how many hard disks it's showing up if you can see here there is only one disk of 60 gb over here right because we have added the hard disk but we haven't initialized it okay to make the hard disk available with the operating system what you need to do very important run right? go to run command again and type diskmgmt.msc diskmgmt.msc it opens the disk management console see disk management whenever you open the disk management when you add a new hard disk over here right it will pop up in this way do you want to initialize the disk and what is the partition style you want to select so i'm just going with the latest partition style is dpt okay select the if you add 10 disk right it will show 10 disk over here if you add two disk it will show two disk right now we have added only one disk right that's the reason it is showing as a single disk uh, choose the partition style and click ok now you can see here disk is online but it won't show now also because we need to give the 
we need to create the volume over here. Right click on the unallocated space, created a sample volume, click next. And uh, you can specify what is the size of the disk required. So I'm just considering total 50 GB of space, click next. I'm going to SLA drive letter, you can do anything, okay? Click next. You can give. I'm going to use this partition as a backup. So I'm just naming it as backup disk. Okay, click okay. Next, finish. Once after completion of all the steps over here, if you go to file explorer, you can see an additional drive over here. See, earlier it is of only single drive C drive. Right now you can see F drive also. See why, what for we have created this additional drive, you know, like we are going to take the system state backup of the active directory. So we are going to restore, we will be taking the backup and then we are going to perform the restore. Let us see those in the next coming videos. This is all about the video friends. Thank you. Have a nice day.